Hello, 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 and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So we are going to go ahead and move on to Sagittarius reading. Sagittarius, your song is Titanium. Um, guys, if you guys have any questions as to what it is that I do, how do I do it, services that I provide, um, any information on Patreon or anything else, down below in the description. So um, the verse that came out for, um, during I was listening to the song Titanium, <sighs> Um, for Sagittarius is um, you shoot me down but I won't fail I am titanium I, I am titanium I am titanium um, so if we're gonna you know we can look at this and again you know feel free to interpret this message however you want whether you know you want to reverse the roles whether you want to make this about love um you know connections with other people connection uh, you know with work hobbies whatever it is is your life um, i'm just bringing forth the energies that i am sensing so um before we get into the the candle and the water someone who feels that they have tried and tried and tried and tried on something on one particular thing and <clears throat> excuse me the more that they try the more that they seem to be failing um or it may seem to the world let's put it that way it seems to the outside to people that are looking that they keep on failing but so why is it that you have such a drive why is it that you are not giving up like what gives you that strength that willpower to just keep going where you know to other people it seems like you're failing but you view them as challenges which is kind of um, quite beautiful i have sagittarius were in my chart somewhere who knows anyways um we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna focus our attention to the water and the candle <laughs> I know, people are used to the cards and stuff. I will be pulling out at least two oracle cards at the end, so for the advice for the next three to four weeks. <clears throat> yeah, there is something that, um, and this may be more and more more than um, once one specific thing so this can apply to like i said maybe uh in multiple di or in different areas of your life um it seems that the more you try to move forward the more that you try to achieve or accomplish a certain goal the more that um you seem to face more and more challenges and people are looking at you and just talking kind of like uh why is she still doing that why is she still trying why is she this why is he doing this um did he not learn his lesson why is he and it's like it doesn't really matter you know whether they're saying why is she or why is he or whatever it is what what the outside you know people that are outside of you do not um understand is that you have this connection within yourself you have this awareness you have this inner knowing that everything that you are currently going through or everything that you recently went through because i feel that a lot of those challenges that you were facing are things from the past and what is coming up now what is coming towards you or what is manifesting right in front of you even if you are not aware of it are all of those blessings all of those all of those seeds that you planted while going through these challenges so when we start when we start to look at our situations or the things that are happening around us as challenges as something to be overcome versus something that was either quote unquote done to hurt us or harm us or whatever it is and we don't victimize ourselves we go past that and we know that whatever the current challenge or the most recent challenge that we went through was meant for our growth it was meant to help us become a stronger individual individual in regards to ourselves that has nothing to do with anyone outside of you this is about beating the person that you were yesterday this is about becoming a better version of yourself so you continue on getting up you continue on fighting you continue on moving forward because you have that inner knowing that 
this journey that you have currently, this path that you have chosen to take has nothing to do with anyone or anything outside of you. It has to do with you, with your growth, with your self-love, with the things that you yourself want to manifest, you yourself um, are passionate about, are, you know, things that bring you joy, things that bring that smile to your face, things that allow you to just be at peace in general. <sighs> If we're looking at it from um, a perspective of a relationship or a connection with a person, this is um, this could be you know you could have been a person that was really really hurt or you lost a person very dear to you, so somebody that has um, passed away. Let's put it this way, and you had that type of connection with somebody that was like a once in a lifetime type of thing and since losing that person you have tried multiple times to be in connections to try and fulfill that void that you had but you got to a point where you knew or you realized that you were doing it because you were still hurt so the moment that you decide decided or decide to heal that hurt part of it then that once in a lifetime type of love walks back into your life meaning you meet somebody where is going to oh like kind of like awaken this part of you that you felt that you had lost when you lost this other person so and then people are really going to be criticizing like how does she get you know or he gets two soulmates in a lifetime like how you know or three soulmates or whatever it is but it's like it doesn't really matter whether things are going good or bad for you romantically let's put it this way when i was talking about in regards to the soulmates but let's say that um <laughs> if things are going bad for you it's like those around you those that are surrounding those that are looking at you are criticizing you because you continue on fighting. But then when things start to go good for you, when your blessing starts coming in, then they're criticizing you because it's like, well, why does he get it? Why why is he doing this? Why why does he get this? Why does she get that? And it's like, you remember what you were criticizing before about, you know, always getting up, um, never staying down? That's why I'm getting everything because I never gave up. But it's like you're not even in those, um, you're not even in that space of wanting to, to explain yourself or to justify your actions or to even allow other people's thoughts or opinion about you even bother you. It's just like... You know, because I do feel that whomever is criticizing you, you are aware of it because people that are coming up to let you know or people that are coming up to tell you um, are people that are within those groups. And they're bringing forth the information not because, not because they care, to be honest with you, but because they want, they want to see if while you are down, they can keep you down. Now... There is constructive criticism. Um, so we're, if we're in a workplace and, you know, at my uh, most recent job as a nurse, my supervisor was amazing, um, in my opinion. Let's put it that way because everybody has their own opinion. But to me, she was a fair, she no longer is, um, she actually left before I did, she retired. Um, to me, I always view her as a fair supervisor. She was someone that could always be approached, someone that will would listen to what you have to say. And so when she gave, whenever she would criticize, let's say, if she had anything to criticize what, uh, that I was doing, it was always done right in front of my face, 
even though I wouldn't call it like criticism, but you know, I'm just using this as an, as an example, but whatever, let's say if she had any issues or anything with what, what I was doing or how I was doing it, or if she felt that I didn't really understand what I was supposed to be doing, she literally will come up and speak directly to you. But you knew because you felt it and you sensed it, that it had nothing to do with you as a person. It wasn't not, not because she was trying to pick on you or because she didn't like you or this and this and that. It had everything to do with the current position that I was in, the current care that I was to be providing for patients. And so then she would go ahead and I, I loved it because it was always within that facility that I, you know, the office that I worked in, it was always about learning and self-growth. So if you ever made a mistake or let's say anybody else made a mistake and you caught it let's say and then you bring it up to some you know to the attention because of the type of work that it was um, was very serious then the answer was never really given to you you're you bringing something up you will be asked you would be questioned like well why 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 is that wrong so that it would it would set you into this space where you were challenged to think critically and think outside the box and go ahead and move forward and then it's like okay so then you come back and you say well this and this and this and this was you know was the mistake and these are the reasons why it was a mistake okay but then again now the solution is not given to you either so what are we going to do about it or what are you going to do about it? Uh, so you, you're challenged again to go back into that space and process. And then you would come back. And at that point, join the dialogue back and forth. If any, if you missed, let's say, a portion of it or you missed part of it, whatever it was, then a question or a statement would be made to kind of get your mind to get to that conclusion on its end, on itself, instead of them directly giving you the answer. So what that does is that it allows you as an individual to learn to process things and learn to look at things from different angles. So I feel that Sagittarius with all their challenges and with everything that they have gone through in the recent past and even throughout the past few years um, has allowed them to take themselves out of any current situation or any situation that they're in and look at it from different perspective to figure out what the best, what the best outcome can be but how to get that best outcome in the most um, efficient way without having to um, invest more energy or more time or more money or whatever it is than is really needed for that particular thing. And to me, that is actually quite beautiful. So if we're looking at a relationship or a connection, it's like, okay, this is what I this is what I desire. This is the outcome that I would like. Or this is the outcome that I am after. Now, if I know that I am after a particular outcome, let's say I want to be in, in, in an open relationship. I want to be able to be with one person committed, but I want us to, each of us to be able to be with other people. Are you going to go ahead then and start dating people that are against open relationships? no because they are against it so why are you going to invest your time and energy with a person that is not does not view or does not is not capable of looking at the perspective that you're looking into it and the same is this and it's also the same that if you want to be in a committed relationship with just one particular person and that person is into open relationships, but you are not, then are you going to pursue that knowing that the outcome of it is not what you want? So this is what I'm talking about. Like this is what Sagittarius, I feel, has been working on is at looking at things from different perspectives, different angles to, okay, this is a situation, this is the outcome that I want. Now, 
how can I get from A to B the fastest or the quickest way without burning myself out, without having to add any additional stress or any additional challenge. And instead of having these huge challenges throughout this current challenge, maybe we can have just like little challenges that I can just overcome fairly quickly and get to my outcome faster. And that's actually quite um, beautiful. The high priestess kept them wanting to um, come up. We'll see if it comes up or not. Uh, but if it doesn't come up, I feel like, you know, it is of that, like, you know, somebody taking that stand of, like, the high priestess and um, going forth with everything that... Um, that they that they desire that they have been working for and not allowing um other people to stop them and unfortunately those that try to stop you or those that try to to overcome you if that makes any sense i don't know why that word wants to come out um just cannot cannot understand let alone understand let alone understand what you what you have been doing because they're still fixated fixated on um doing things in like one particular way without ever taking the time to look at things or handle things from a different let me take this one um or look at things from a different perspective. So we have the Shol Sholem, Sholen, Sholen, Sholen Master. Be grateful in movement and action. And it's like, ooh, where did it go? See, that thing fell so hard. Let me go ahead and grab it. Hold on, guys. Um, yeah, I've been at this for a while now. So my hands are starting to give up. Okay. So... It's like, <clears throat> no matter what, whatever the challenge is, no matter what, the, whatever the situation is, I feel that you handle it very gracefully. You go ahead and you face all the challenges or your fears um, head on. And people notice this, people see this, and there's, you know, it's like, they can understand how you can do this. And Honestly, the advice when this card comes is just to continue on moving forward and continue on doing what you're doing, um, even if other people cannot understand it, even if other people cannot see your, your perspective or your point of view, it is not for them. This journey, this path, this whatever it is that you're going through is not for other people, it is for you. With the stag is trust and thrive, and it's like you are, you if you haven't already started to see um, things manifesting or your blessings coming in, which I think that they have already started. I just feel it's like um, they may be coming in like one by one or like I feel like they've been coming in very slowly and like one by one. But it's like the pace is going to start um, picking up with this um, trust and thrive energy. And then for last, we have the star ancestors. Follow the voice of your soul. And this is exactly what you have been doing. So just stay true to who you are and stay true to whatever it is that you are engaging in, whether it's a relationship, whether it's um, a new job, whatever it is, just continue to follow your soul because your soul is never going to um, lead you astray as long as you are truly connected to what it is that your soul is asking you to go ahead and do well 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 sag that is all the time that i have for you today um i hope that this message resonates with you guys or brings you at least some form of clarity i will go ahead and see you guys real soon we're gonna go ahead and end it and end this message because someone right here needs a nap um thank you for watching Sending all of you some love. Bye-bye.